to our Champagne Day Feast Saint style film created by the College Prefects. Let's acknowledge the original custodians of the land in which we sit, the Gimwe, Wallabare, Yadinji and Irriganji people. As brothers and sisters sharing in life, we want to grow in care for our planet and all creation. With others, we foster the hope that all of humankind will come to appreciate the world as our home, where nature is delicately balanced. This requires our living together in an atmosphere of reverence, mutual respect, justice and participation. These are Marcelin's words from his book, Water from the Rock. Today on the feast day of St. Marcelin Champagne, the founder of the Morris Brothers, we give thanks for his compassion, for his vision, and most importantly, his response to God. Just as our good mother Mary said yes to God, so too did Marcelin. He lived in a place and time in which he experienced much hardship throughout his life, much like we have in the year 2020, a time of turmoil, of uncertainty, and great unprecedented challenges. We, like Marcelin, must face these challenges. Look for the need for us to say yes to God. In saying yes, we acknowledge that we are called to care for our planet and all of creation, to care for our global home and our global family. Hope you enjoy our film. Today, all around the world, Marists are remembering Marcelin Champagne, our founder and saint. This year's celebrations will be markedly different to those in past years. The COVID pandemic has led to lockdowns, restrictions, anxiety, dislocations, and of course, illness, death, and grief. Daily life in nearly every country has been disrupted in a way not seen in 80 years. It has been and will continue to be a turbulent time. Marcelin also lived in tumultuous times. He was born in a period of revolution and upheaval that lasted for decades, not months. Ironically, it was during this time that he conceived his plans to help others and establish a new family. It was because of these circumstances that he developed his noble ambitions. Our own experience probably tells us something similar, that in every challenge, there is an opportunity. In every period of turmoil, there are new dreams born. Over the last 200 years, our Maris family has been blessed with many dreamers and visionaries, starting with Marcelin. They have provided us with inspiration, wisdom, creativity, and vision. They have showed us how to live Jesus' message in new and vibrant ways. Now is our time. This is our invitation to dream and work for others, for a better, more humane world. We need this. Our world and church need this. Our families and communities need this. Let's take up the challenge together to reimagine and dream like Marcelin did in his own period of crisis. Happy Champagne Day. How's it going? It's Riley Gaddick here. We're about to go film some students about who is Marcelin. Let's go. So, who is Marcelin? Uh, Marcelin was a French priest who lived in the town of Lavala. Uh, to me, Saint Marcelin was a French priest. Uh, he was also the founder of the Marcelin Brothers. <laughs> Marcelin was a French priest who... was a French priest that lives in the French Revolution created the Morris Brothers. This candle represents Christ who said, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have a light of life. We get closer to Jesus when we embrace Mary as mother, because her son is held. Sustained by the faith and example of Saint Marcelin, of our fellow Maris, who have made very known and loved. We willingly renew our vows. In the presence of the most holy Trinity and of all the saints, 
I renew my vows to follow me, justly and obedience, according to the constitutions of the little brothers of Mary. Holy Virgin, my good mother, help me to observe them faithfully until death. I now invite the prefects present to join us and Mr. Brennan join us in the singing of the salvo. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dolcedo, Exes Nostra Salve. some students and teachers about what it means for them to be in a Morris education. Let's go. Ready, what do you like about Morris education, Matthew? Um, just how we're all brothers and saints and like, you know, you can rely on one another. I love it. You do? I love it. Yeah, what, what do we say? I'm going to ask you what you like about Morris education. Just tell me what you like about school. Sports. That has nothing to do with the master's education. Oh, well, teachers are always here to help me with my schoolwork. Um, yeah, I think. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> the relationship between the teachers and students is uh, it's really good at Saints here, so. Yep. What does Amaris education mean to you? It means support and love. Um, to care for each other and be with each other. Um, Amaris education to me is about learning from Marcelin. <laughs> okay, being guided by um, teachers and staff that instill morals of brotherhood and respect and um, the ways of of the, of the church that we're taught um, so that we can be educated um, effectively. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, right, no. Um, yeah, all right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not cut that. Let's cut that out, right? Yeah. No. No, I don't think I will. Amara's education for me, probably at its core, is about, I guess, the young people and bringing out the best in the young people. Yeah. Um, you know, Marcelin's dream was to bring education and to be, uh, you know, Catholic faith to be known by young people. Um, whatever that meant. Didn't mean it had to be, um, you know, full commitment, but certainly some awareness of their faith life and uh, to give them the best opportunity in education because he knew education was so powerful for life. It would open so many pathways. And I think, um, for me, that translates particularly to, you know, working with the young people. We, we all have bring gifts and talents and uh, exposing the best of that, for whoever that may be, or whatever that may be for that person. So, certainly, uh, for me, the opportunity to work with young people to expose those gifts um, is certainly what Mark's education is for me. And probably the most important thread of all that would be... Uh, Two hours later in a manner uh, that we and 
way we support each other to bring out the best. You know? So that, that's certainly where my... Good afternoon, brother. Just like to get a comment from you on how do you see this college as being a Mara school? Well, it's very definitely a Mara's school. I'm very privileged to be a Mara's brother as part of the cool community. And I think in an isolated place like Cairns, it's important that we do have committed lay people, uh, Marists, as well as brothers who are Marists. So it's a very important part of our college life. Good afternoon, brother. I've just noticed that the bells have chimed from the chapel. Can you tell us why the bells chime? Well, thank you, Miss. The, uh, the bells of 12 symbolise the call to prayer, and in particular, the prayer of the Annunciation. The bells also go at six in the morning and six in the evening. In most of our Mara schools around the world, we follow the, the way of Mary and we join in with the rest of the church in saying this particular and ancient prayer to Our Lady asking for her protection. Brother, can you tell us the name of that prayer? I can't because I've just gone blank. As we gather for the Feast of St. Marcelin, uh, we, the members of the Marist Association, take this opportunity willingly to re renew our vows. We have a deep longing to encounter God in our life. We are, we are grateful, grateful for, for this opportunity, opportunity to participate in shaping a new expression of Mara's life and mission. The Mara's Association of St. Martin and Champagne. Together we are committed to discerning what the Spirit is stirring in our hearts and responding to the possibilities and challenges of our day. Centre our lives on God, who calls us to prayer and action. Deepen our experience of communion with, with each other and with all life. life. Radiate hope through hospitality, availability, and spiritual liveliness. Hear God's whisper within our hearts, urging us to become our best selves. Consciously meet the needs of young people, particularly the most vulnerable. Grow in us hearts that welcome well newness. Quieten our doubts, nurture our calling as Marists, heal our brokenness and fragmentation, foster joy in and between us, give us hope. Let us put our hands to work and build our future. St. Martin and Champagne, pray, pray for, for us. us. Mary, our good mother, pray, pray for us. And as always, remember to, to pray, pray for one another. another. Presence, simplicity, love of work, family spirit, and in the way of Mary. These are the five charisms that we hold so close to our hearts as followers of Marcelin Champagne. They are plastered on all our walls, in or around posters, in our classrooms, and in our school diaries. But what does it mean to be a leader that embodies these characteristics? When I decided to put my hand up to register for a senior prefect position, I remember amid the excitement and ambition I was wor worried that I wouldn't be able to lead like those who came before me. These past prefects have built a reputation of being such a punctual, organised and talented group of young men. Each of them had brought their own unique style to their roles and have consequently left a lasting impression in our community. Although I've only been a prefect for the shorter side of six months, from my past conversations, leadership camps and own personal experience, here's what I've learned what being a Morris leader means. Firstly, our five charisms are a guide on how to become a strong and compassionate leader. By the time you reach your senior years at the college, it has been ingrained into your soul to love your work, to be present, to be simplistic, and to love the people around you. Secondly, you are going to make mistakes. While it might seem that leaders have everything under control, there are going to be times where you're going to do the wrong thing or something doesn't go your way. And that's completely okay. Lastly, being a Marist leader means that you are never truly alone in all that you do. Being a part of a student leadership team means that you're invited into a group that always has your back. There is always someone there to lend a hand when you need it, and it's reciprocated throughout the whole year level. 
In essence, being a young Marist leader is so much more than just a senior student leadership position at school. It shapes the way how you live your life, and it will shape the lives of the many of more who pass through the college. Hey fellas, James here, and our final question is, what does the Marist charism mean to you? All right, let's go find some answers. Okay, so what does the Marist charism mean to you? Brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our Morris charism Kar 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 is up. <laughs> uh, well, it's always being genuine and true to yourself, and then you get through everything. Uh, family, uh, presence, yep. um, and just being uh, good people. It means that I enjoy the work and I put in my best effort. So what does the Mara spirit mean to you? Uh, hard work and, um, oh no, I forgot. Hard work and dedication. And we're giving it a go. Um, brotherhood, because it's like just a connection with boys and men together. No. Thank you, Sam. What does the Mara spirit mean to you, Mr. Nichols? Um, family spirit and being with this guy every single day. Yeah, it's key. Thank you, sir. So, so just quickly, what does the Mara spirit mean to you? <laughs> Family spirit. To be a Mara man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Brotherhood. Just have a dig at everything and uh, a bit of brotherhood in there as well. Wait, wait, wait. Friendship. Just keep going, keep going. <laughs> in the way of Mary. Family spirit. The friendship. Brotherhood. Sick. Okay, so Harrison, what is the Mars charism? Mars charism? The Mars charism is, it's more, obviously we have the five pillars, but I'd say the most specific one is love and work. If you do what you want to do, then that's what Mars charism is. Making sure you're a good bloke of the Saints community. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's about it. I, th I think that's about it. Hi boys, my name is Riley. I'm your SRC captain here at Saints. I'm just joined by Father Lowe today and in celebration of St. Marcelin Champagne Day, I'm just gonna ask him to answer a few questions on the Marist values we have here at Saints. How can students at Saints use Marcelin's teachings in their day-to-day -day lives? Uh, students here, I think at the moment, the best way that they can get through, again, the last few months and the rest of this year, isn't so much saying, um, what can I do? What, what, what grade can I get? What sport can I do? But who am I as a person? Uh, I think Marcelin allowed people to ask themselves that question. And that's a question you know, in our isolation in the last few weeks, months. You know, we'd be not going to work and suddenly we'd go, well, who am I? You know, that's what's, what's important for me in my life. And I think um, the students, if they can take that message of Marceline as to not what can you do, what you do well, which is important enough, but who are you as an individual and how are you going to be you in the world you're going to move into? No worries. Thanks, Father. Please be part of the project. Quite all right. Out of the five characteristics of Mara's teaching, um, which one do you notice the most often here at Saints? Look, I think family spirit, certainly, and certainly with the interesting times we've had over the last couple of months, just to see the number of boys that have got off their own bat to uh, to look out for other guys online, and and you know some of the videos that have been put up by by you college prefects, and, and certainly even the way the staff have have bonded and gelled together, and the collegiality and the, the family spirit that's been shown ever since I've been here, but it's been really magnified over the last two months during the pandemic. At St. Augustine's, we give it a dig by supporting each other. At St. Augustine's, we have a dig by doing our best. Let us finish this video with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, you gave St. Marcelin a gift that he shared with the whole world, a gift that allowed him to be compassionate in his will to educate young people across the globe and compassionate through following in Mary's footsteps. We pray that through his commitment to education and commitment to God, we too will be compassionate and loving to those in need. Today, we are invited to live by St. Marcelin's motto, all to Jesus through Mary, all to Mary for Jesus. And that by living by this, we are called able to care for the environment in all its creation, to care for our families and to care for others. St. Marcelin Champagne, pray for us. Mary, our good mother, pray for us. And let us always remember, Just pray, pray for one another. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Happy Champagne Day! 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 Happy Champagne Day!